Hey, welcome back to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. We're over here at Reflections of Old um, with uh, Glenda. How are you doing, Glenda? Wonderful. How are you? Very good. Thanks for coming on the Road Show. Uh, I love your place. Um, can you tell uh, the viewers uh, a little bit about your place? Well, Reflections of Old opened about eight weeks ago. Uh, four weeks ago, we actually doubled in size. You know, when you come through our front doors, you're immediately met by the smell of coffee. We offer free coffee to everyone. And our cobblestone streets, um, we have a beautiful pathway that takes you through the store. It's, it's really a cool store. I mean, it's one of those places where you come in and you find something you absolutely had to have and didn't know you had to have it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do offer... You know, new, used, old, very, very old. In the back, we have some 1850s um, stagecoach, big wagon wheels. But we also carry brand new things in the store. It's very cool, and you have you've you've, you've uh, uh, comprised uh, some really cool vendors that you have in, in the store as well. Um, so no, really, two vendors are alike. I've noticed. Absolutely not. Um, we have vendors who do chalk painting on furniture, and then we have other vendors who wouldn't think of painting a beautiful piece of wood. We have um, some gentlemen who provide us with military artifacts, uh, firemen and policemen memorabilia. Uh, we have a vintage lingerie section. Um, just so many things. Just so many things. <laughs> now, um, you are, you, now, have you been in the business for a while? You, you uh, are a collector yourself? Um, yes, my yes, but you know, this is like home to me. I am here twenty four seven, so um, I collect. But my home doesn't look anything like this. I think I would actually prefer to live here than at home. <laughs> <Right> <laughs> <now>. <laughs> It's very cool, and with the the holidays coming up, it's a great place to uh, come and get a gift, um, uh, a repurposed, recycled. Yeah, I mean, there are some new items here. There's some old items here. There's some vintage. There's antiques. Uh, um, you really uh, can't go wrong uh, this holiday season coming up uh, for coming over here as well. You know, our front windows, we have some beautiful cherry wall and walnut furniture in our dining room table. Uh, is set for the holidays, and it's got gorgeous Limoges from France, China. We have sold several sets of that here in the past eight weeks. Um, Sheshka from Czechoslovakia, crystal, um, and some vintage pieces, the white aluminum Christmas trees. There's just absolutely everything. I know you don't really see those white aluminum Christmas trees anymore either. <laughs> we have a we have a particular vendor who primarily markets 1950s to 1960s glassware. She has the the gold. Well, yesterday she had um, green grapes that you would have seen in the 60s as Christmas ornaments, and they're no longer there. Mm -hmm. Somebody came in and bought all of them. But that is just her primary market, right. is glass from the 50s and 60s. And some vintage pieces also, um, like she'll have the old time ashtrays mm -hmm. that stand up like two or three feet, um, metal that we used to have when our parents, but um, she has an awesome large booth over there. That's awesome. Now I notice you have also have your your prize mascot uh, for the store as well. And, and what's this guy's name? This is Bruce, and Bruce is here. If I'm here, um, he's been here every day since we've been here and during construction. Um, he is just the store mascot. Everybody knows him. In fact, we have customers who pull in front uh, or come over to Quick Trip, which is in front of our store. And the family says, let's go visit Bruce. You know, Dad didn't want to go shopping, but he stops, brings the kids in. They get to visit him. He's as mellow as they come. We're a dog-friendly store. You can bring your dog-friendly or your four-legged creatures also. Mm -hmm. But he is always here to greet you and meet you. That is awesome. Um, so where exactly are you located over here in Olathe? We are in I remember old Sunflower Dodge going in the Olathe. <laughs> um, 
We are at the corner of Santa Fe and Ridgeview, which is 1325 East Santa Fe, just 10 seconds off of I-35 and Santa Fe, uh, in a strip mall um, right behind Quick Trip. Can't miss us. It's pretty easy to find. Now, can they follow you on Facebook as well? Absolutely. We're on Facebook, and we have a website also. And... um, you know, check out a lot of the local papers as well as you. Yeah. You're coming into the Junk Journal coming up as well. Um, now, are you looking f- uh, for any additional vendors at your store to take uh, interviews or anything? We are looking for vendors. Okay. Um, we still have a few spaces available. We take consignment also, uh, more in the furniture aspect. Okay. Um, but yes, we have space available. Come in and see us. Give me a call. The number here at the store is 913-768-1516. I'm always here. Give me a call. Very good. We have a tagline on our radio show and our road show. It kind of goes like this. It's a Jed Clampett, uh, uh, taken off a Jed Clampett. Woo doggies. Can you give me woo doggies? Bruce, come on. Let's do it together. (laughs) Woo doggies. (laughs) Very good. Thank you, Bruce. That's about the most you're going to get out of me. Oh, oh now you're going to look up for an interview, uh, well, huh? Yeah, he's so handsome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Hey, guys, you've been listening to the Junk in My Trunk, or you've been watching the Junk in My Trunk Roadshow, and we'll be right back. There's no place like home. Home sweet home realty. Since 2003, Home Sweet Home Realty has continued to experience record-breaking numbers year after year, even in the worst housing climate in history. Their secret? Powerful marketing strategies, seven days a week availability, positive attitudes, and a genuine love for the business. Because we're not a national chain, Home Sweet Home Realty offer discount rates to sell and we never charge additional broker, transaction, or administrative fees. We believe you can't get great buyers without great listings, so we pass that savings on to you. Real people, real results. There's no place like home. Home Sweet Home Realty, 816-808-4000. That's 808-4000. Hey, welcome back to the Junk in My Trunk radio show and road show. We're over here with Top Metal with Brendan. Uh, how you doing, Brendan? Good, good. Hey, can you tell the uh, listeners and the viewers uh, a little bit about Top Metal? Uh, we're a full-service uh, recycling yard. We take all non-ferrous and ferrous metals. Uh, just bring in your scrap and we'll pay you cash for it. Wait, get away, get paid. <laughs> Just about anything, huh? Yep. The, uh, uh, when, uh, what are your hours of operation over here? We're uh, Monday through Friday, 8 to 6, uh, Saturday, 8 to 3, and Sunday, 10 to 2. So we're open seven days a week. So when you're looking at metal and things like that to be able to recycle and things like that, what are the, what are some of the, I, I said it's kind of no pun intended, but what is the top uh, thing that comes in here? Uh, probably sheet iron. We see a lot of sheet iron, but we're pretty competitive as far as sheet iron and uh, all of our non fair So is that right? Yeah. So um, does it? Do you pay by the pound? Is that how it works? Yeah, we pay everything by the pound. So you just bring it in. We'll uh, put it in a container and we'll weigh it all up for you and uh, and pay you by the pound on everything. So that's awesome. So how long has Top Metal been over here in Independence? Um, I've been here about three years. Uh, I think uh, the owner that's owned it now has been here like five to six years, I think. Five but, to six years. but I think it's been here about 10, 10 years, something like that. So, so if you have some iron or uh, some scrap metal just laying around the house and you'd like to uh, get paid for it, uh, just bring it on up, right? Right. Whether you're uh, uh, just an everyday scrapper, you know, we got a lot of guys that do this for a living. That's all they do is, is scrap. And then uh, we got a lot of homeowner contractors. You know, it doesn't matter how you get it or you want to scrap it, we'll pay you for it. So. I noticed you have a, you have an aluminum can actually. Um, uh, machine in here <laughs> yeah yeah we do Bands them up. and we try to pay as high as we can on aluminum cans that's kind of our uh that's how we get the homeowners in you know we, we have a special on monday and tuesdays 50 cents a pound on on cans so okay. so we try to stay real competitive with cans now i was with uh, um one of my uh, advertisers the other day and she was telling me that the the the, the tops of the of the of the aluminum cans are, are worth more than the can is that right or i don't know <laughs> I, I, everybody tells me that but we just buy them the same as cans i don't i don't know i don't have any way to get rid of them other than just put them with the cans so is that right everybody takes them off but if they're bringing it here they might as well just leave them on and save themselves the trouble and just scrap them the same so very good well um uh, where exactly again are you located where's top metal located at we're at 1212 west 24 highway independence missouri 64050 very good well, we have a tagline on our radio show and our road show it goes like this it's kind of a jed clampett woo doggies can you give me woo doggies woo doggies <laughs> 
perfect Brandon. appreciate it hey guys uh, check out top metal here on independence uh, uh, if you want to uh, recycle any of your metals, and uh, again, uh, what, what, what are your hours of operation? We're uh, 8 to 6 Monday through Friday, 8 to 3 Saturday, and uh, 10 to 2 on Sunday. So we're open seven days a week, which most of the other yards are always closed on Sunday. So if they need some need cash on Sunday, just come see us on Sunday. And then we're also open, like I say, during the week till 6, which is later than almost every other scrapyard in the town. So Very good. Hey, guys, you've been listening to the Junk in My Trunk Roadshow, and we'll be right back. a great used car don't forget to go see fat boy motor company located in independence missouri 300 west 24 highway 816-836-8318 ask for reggie reggie's been in the car business since 1993 and has tons of satisfied customers you will not be disappointed if you go see fat boy motor company they're open monday through friday 9 a.m to 6 p.m saturday from 9 a.m to 3 p.m Hey, welcome back to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. We're over here at Show Me Quilting over here in Raytown with Beth, the owner. How are you doing, Beth? I'm good, Darren. How are you? Very good. Thanks for taking the interview with me again. Um, can you tell the listeners and the viewers a little bit about your place? Some of We had you during the summer, but now we're getting into the winter months. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell the listeners about uh, your, your place? Um, well, we offer classes and uh, fabric, notions, patterns, books, and um, quilting machines. So uh, winter's a really good time for this particular hobby. I would, I would think so. It, it's a, it, you, you have a really cool store, and um, I had the opportunity uh, to check out how your machine actually works. It's, that's, that's pretty amazing, too. Yeah, it's fun. And um, <laughs> Quilting is not like our grandmas used to do it. Mo there's hardly any hand quilters anymore. So a lot of people either uh, have a machine of their own or they quilt by checkbook. And... Um, <laughs> yeah, and you get that now. I get that. Yeah, you got like, that. ding ding. It. Um, so back in the old times, uh, before they had a, a unique machines like this, how did they do it? They often put it on a big quilting frame. My great grandmother had one. I remember her having it set up in the dining room, and she'd set that big long frame across a couple of chairs, okay. and um, she and sometimes her friends would get together and they would quilt together. And so they would actually sew sew the patterns. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And you have like a unique stitch and things like that. Stitching so patterns, right? Yeah. And if you look at old quilts, um, sometimes it was just straight lines, but then sometimes there were flower patterns. And, and here's a little tidbit for you: a lot of times they would go to the cemeteries and do um, a pencil. Um, what do you call it? Um, I'm trying to think what that called. That's all right. Pencil. Uh, Impression rubbings, that's the word I wanted. Okay. Rubbings, right. Jackie got it for me. Yeah. Uh, pencil rubbings of artwork that was on the stones. Okay. And they would use that sometimes as a motif in their in their quilt. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Now with uh, uh, the holidays coming upon us, um, you have also some uh, kits and some projects for people to come out and pick up? We do. We've got some really cute Christmas kits. Um, Frosty's available. This is the 50th anniversary for Rudolph. So Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer movie that every kid likes. Sure. And uh, we've got kits for both of those. And there's a couple of other Christmas um, quilts that we have kits for, too. Now, uh, with people uh, with Christmas gifts and things like that, are, are they um, kind of bringing them in? Or have they already, had, already been in to get them ready to go? To, to get quilts quilted. Mm -hmm. uh, my longtime customers know that they have to get them in early because this time of year is really, really busy. Right. Um, and so we've already cut off for quilting okay. but that doesn't mean you can't get something pieced and we've got a list of other quilters in in the area that might be able to help them well what's unique about your business also you guys also sell the machines as well right and that's another option uh -huh. so quilt it yourself wow. buy a machine and you can quilt at home in your pajamas <laughs> So with the technology that you have, I noticed that you um, uh, use the computer a lot. Uh, so you plug in a pattern and you and you put it down and let it let it do its thing, huh? Yeah, exactly. Um, running the shop, I'm really busy helping customers and uh, um, ordering inventory and all all kinds of things that are associated with the shop. And so the computer helps us get the quilting done. I can see me getting really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> on a quilting machine? Well, there's some there's some needles and it's going pretty fast uh, yeah, yeah you have to watch where your hands are it could get you i bet yeah so where exactly are you located again over here in raytown we're at 6221 blue ridge boulevard it's in the raytown plaza 
shopping center. We're right down the street from um, Raytown High School in downtown Raytown. Very good. So it's pretty easy to find. I really like how they really redid this whole area. Yeah, there's a local couple now that owns the shopping center. Mm -hmm. They've um, made a lot of improvements to the shopping center. It looks great. And then also, before I let you go, you also do classes. We do. We have piecing classes, a variety, um, from beginners all the way up to advanced. So it's so it's a trade, um, kind of a lost trade, but also it's, uh, some of these young young uh, kids that are uh, at school can kind of learn it. Yes, and there's a huge um, modern guild here now in Kansas City. Okay. They probably have about 160 members or so, oh, wow. um, and they've only been in existence for about three years. So, and those are the the younger gals. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to see them coming on sure. and uh, keeping this alive. Well, I think it's a great thing, and uh, we really appreciate uh, being a sponsor of the Junk in My Trunk Roadshow and uh, also uh, being a business owner to step out there and have the moxie do it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We enjoy it a lot. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work. And your husband helps you out quite a bit, too. <laughs> Dave, Dave does a lot of the the heavy lifting. I'll put it that way. He's your quilt hunk. <laughs> he is my quilt hunk. Oh, coined a, a new phrase. I like that, quilt hunk. On the, on the back of a T-shirt or something. Have that printed, yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, we do have a tagline on our radio show and our road show, and I know um, you know what it is, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you one. I'm going to say, oh. I'm going to give you the whoo dog is. You don't have to oh, give me one no, today. Thanks, <laughs> Thank you. And uh, um, hey, guys, uh, you've been listening to the Junk in My Truck Road Show. Come out from here and check out Show Me Quilting. Uh, you'll be glad that you did. And uh, we'll be right back. Hey, this is Darren with the Junk in My Trunk radio show. If you saw our station wagon out and about, it's partly in due because we have great tires that we ride on. We get our tires from Lonnie's Tire. They've been in business since 1962. You can give them a call at 816-254-2477. Whether you're looking for used tires, new tires, you name it. They'll get you back on the road in a hurry. Again, they're located at 1008 East 24 Highway in Independence, Missouri. 816-254-2477. They're open Monday through Sunday. Make sure you tell them that you heard it from the Junk Mafia and give them a big woo doggies. Y'all come back now, you hear? Hey, welcome back to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. We're down here in Pleasant Hill at Sweet Expressions with Debbie, the owner. How you doing, Debbie? Oh, just fine. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Well, thanks for taking the interview with us. Um, love your store, love your place. Can you tell the listeners and the viewers a little bit about it? Oh, sure. A Sweet Expression has been in business since 2000. We started off on Lee Summit. We uh, had bought this building uh, back in the early 2000 time frame. <laughs> oh, no, you're fine. Um, what, uh, what did this building used to be? Actually, at one point in time, I think it was a furniture store. Okay. Uh, it was owned by the Santa Fe Railroad. I think, but I know that up at our museum that we've just finished refurbishing, they have a lot of information about the historical aspects of downtown Pleasant Hill. That is pretty awesome. I really like our store because you not only do you have um, you have some uh, collectibles and you have some uh, uh, gift items. Uh, you do uh, what gift baskets and ice cream and, and make all kinds of stuff. Oh, we do so many types of things. When I decided to start a business of my own, the one thing I wanted to do was find something that I could do to make people happy, and. I started doing candy and cookie bouquets, which we deliver metro-wide, mm -hmm. and I've actually set a goal for myself that we want at least 50% of the things in our store eventually to be handcrafted and handmade by either myself or someone else here. We have our own jam and jelly line that we actually won 10 awards at the Cass County Fair for. Oh my. Um, one of our uh, necklaces, it was a lemon turquoise with copper and amber, actually got the uh, best of show award. And one of our arrangements uh, received the People's Choice Award. So we're really thrilled about that. Um, this is definitely the time of year people are thinking about gift baskets and things like that. Oh, yeah. Um, corporate gifts, oops baskets. We have done so many types of things over the year. And, in fact, on our website, which is a sweet, asweetexpression.com, you can actually find pictures of a lot of the things we've actually done. Uh, chocolate pizzas. We can do. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Chocolate pizzas are <laughs> awesome. But then we can also do chocolate dipped strawberries. We do um, the chocolate and caramel dipped apples. 
goodie trays for the holidays, so, so many different types of things. And the great thing about it is, is that you basically guide us in what you want us to do. So if there are certain types of candies you'd like to have in your basket or in your arrangement, that's all you do is tell us about that. And it's really great because it's custom made for you. So if you want something that's all peanut butter and peanuts, we can do that. It's all up to you. So one of the reasons why you don't order online is because everything we do is custom made. Mm -hmm. And so that's very important. When we first started back in 2000, we started doing ice cream. In fact, at our Lee Summit location, we actually got the best old fashioned ice cream parlor for 2002, <laughs> which was a while. But uh, we do killer banana splits. That is awesome. I do want to show you one of those later on because it's actually big enough for two people. So, so what goes into this banana split we're talking about? We do it the right way. <laughs> you start off with a banana, it's number one. Uh -huh. S strawberry, chocolate, vanilla ice cream, and then you have pineapple, chocolate, and strawberry toppings, whipped cream, nuts, two cherries, and two spoons, because that's pretty much the way it winds up going, unless you're really, really hungry. <laughs> that is awesome. So obviously, uh, uh, I love your energy about your store, and, and it takes a lot of moxie to step out and be a business owner, uh, but y you're right, you're, you're giving back to people, and you're making uh, that people feel, feel good. We sure try. <laughs> it, uh, We've actually, I mean, we've actually shipped all over the country. So there really isn't a lot of things we won't try to do. Okay. Um, we can, we've done um, sugar-free arrangements in the past. Mm -hmm. Our cookies, we can even do uh, sugar-free cookies. Okay. The great thing people don't realize about candy and cookie bouquets is that they are the one thing that can go to the intensive care unit in hospitals where you, you cannot send fresh flowers, but you can send a candy bouquet or a cookie bouquet. Um, balloons, hospitals only take mylar, but we can do that too. So there's a lot of different things that you can do and we actually work for you. That is awesome. Now, how can they find you on the web? We have several different uh, websites, but asweetexpression.com or the yummy store.com are just a couple and if you put in candy cookie bouquets kansas city area you'll find us on uh, google so that's awesome and junk in the trunk <laughs> absolutely now um where exactly are you located over here in downtown pleasant hill we are located almost right at the corner of 58 and first street uh, we are on the south side of the railroad tracks, and if you're familiar with Pleasant Hill, you have the side that has Big Creek and the bank, and then you have the other side of the tracks where you will find us and several other stores. Um, I think Pleasant Hill is making a comeback, and we're really wanting everybody to come down and check us out and see what's going on, especially on the first and third Saturdays, where a number of the other stores, as well as A Sweet Expression, is open till 8 o'clock. We are open from Tuesday through Saturday, um, we always open at noon, and then we are open until 7.30 on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 9 on Friday, and 8 on Saturday. Very good. So, so Sweet Expressions down here in uh, downtown Pleasant Hill. you got to come here and make it a road trip, a day trip. Uh, and, Debbie, we do have a tagline on our radio show and our road show. Uh, it goes like a Judd Clamp and woo doggies. Can you give me woo doggies? Woo doggies. <laughs> awesome. You did great. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Hey, guys, you've been listening to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show, and we'll be right back. The Surplus Exchange, Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. A must-go-see. By the way, this is Mr. Ed from the Junk of, Junk of My Drunk Road Show. The Surplus Exchange is located at 518 Santa Fe. They're open Tuesday through Saturday from 9 to 5. They have computers, office equipment, furniture, and much, much more. Get down, check them out. They're open 9 to 5, 518 Santa Fe. Go there. Hey, welcome back to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. We're over here at the Knot Hole here in beautiful uh, Pleasant Hill um, uh, with uh, Joyce. Hi, Joyce. Hi. And Andy. 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 And can you tell the listeners and the viewers a little bit about your place? Well, it, it's a wood carving studio. I mean, we do have seminars and we, we sell tools and we sell everything that a beginner in wood carving would need. I mean, you know. We're a full service. We sell wood, blanks, everything else like that. So, it's an awesome place. Is it a family affair? Yes, <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, we started this about 25, 26 years ago. It was my parents and us. We opened up a, 
the shop. Well, it wasn't meant to be this big of a shop, but we uh, started just teaching little classes and doing our painting and our own carving to get the mess out of our house, and then it just grew. <laughs> it's really cool now that um, the art of wood, wood carving. How did you learn the art? Well, I learned it from Joy. Her and her dad went to uh, went down to Jim Maxwell's down in in uh, Coal Camp. Uh, he was from Coal Camp. He's passed away now, but they learned how to wood carve. I was still in college and. I knew I wouldn't do it until I graduated. So, is that right? Yeah, and then her, her dad and her basically taught me everything that I know. So, now is it pretty addicting? Is it what addicting? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you if I can't imagine not wood carving, I carve try and carve at least a little bit every day. And you know, even when I come down here and uh, to empty the trash, I'll pick up a wood carving and start working on it. So. Yeah, I can't imagine not stopping once you know. So sure, but that's there's other people that have done it, and you know if they cut themselves, they might decide they don't like it or whatever. I mean, the knives are really sharp, and so that's yeah, and so it really kind of brings out artistic ability in you. Yeah, so. it does. It's it's kind of fun to take a piece of wood, just a block, and go from there because then you get really more creative. We we start with blanks a lot with the bandsaw blanks. They're in shapes of different characters. Uh -huh. And then there's some rough ass, which you almost can tell what they are. You know, some people come in here and think all you have to do is paint them, but there, there really is a lot of hours yet left to, to carve them, a lot of detail. But like I said, the, the less the wood there is to have to take off, I mean, you, you, I'm getting mixed up. You're mixed That's up. That's okay. No, you're not. But <laughs> like I said, with a block, you can start out and really create your own style that way more so. And, um, which I like if I get the time to do. Sure. I like just do my own thing or start from a log or yeah. stick or something. So the logs are a little bit different, huh? Yeah, yeah. You got to take off the bark, and it just depends on the wood too. So. Now, does the wood have to be seasoned any any time? Yeah. Well, most of the wood is is kiln dried. It's it's basswood. Basically, you're carving on a. The majority of the wood that you carve with is a big toothpick or a wooden match. That's what they make basswood. They make those things out of basswood. Oh, so, nice. you know, and there's the different types of carving. There's carving in a round and there's there's relief carving and then the log carving that takes mallets and bigger tools, you know. Sure. So, I mean, you know. Today we're over here so on a Saturday. Now you 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 guys offer classes too? Uh yeah, Saturday mornings I'll teach. Now I teach the the real beginners, the, the ones that have never had a knife in their hand before. In fact, if they just want to learn how to wood carve uh, and deci decide whether they like it or not, they can even use my tools. Uh, I, we charge, uh, I mean, we, we basically carve a couple hours uh, on Saturday mornings, 10 to 12. There's no sign up. You just show up and be prepared to, to carve. And, <laughs> you know, you might, uh, you might call if, if you're not coming next Saturday, you might call to make sure we're here because we've got wood carving shows we go to and and things like that so there's a few Saturdays that we're not here but once you come down and once you're part of the wood carving uh, group or part of the knothole gang then you we kind of let you know whether we're going to be here or not but if you're just new starting out I'd call first. Well we're here almost every Saturday it's just that the people that don't come regularly it's always the one Saturday they come in three months that we're doing something else besides teaching so that's what I mean. Where exactly are you located here in Pleasant Hill? Well we're right in the middle of First Street 118 First Street which is and First Street's only a block long and we're right in the middle of it right across from the restaurant so, be, so. Yeah, we're, we're easy to find. <laughs> And what's your telephone number? Uh, area code 816-987-2214. That's awesome. Now, do you guys have a Facebook page too? Uh, yeah, but my, <laughs> uh, my uh, daughter and son-in-law are the ones that put that together, and I don't know anything about it. Okay. <laughs> Not a problem. If you call us, we have to make sure we call Rick and Sarah. We're <laughs> the old folks. <laughs> But uh, but with the uh, wood carving, it's good. It's for young and old, correct? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, we. I started when I was, well, I don't know, thirty. So yeah. And I've been carving for 25, 30 years. So now, I think a little bit when I think about wood carving, I think about um, uh, Boy Scouts and, and the Pinewood Derby. Do you got does does any Pinewood Derby kids come over here to learn anything? I mean, we haven't, but we we've yeah. got we, you know the club. They have yeah. people you know right. they know and. There's people in the club that do nothing but work with the Boy Scouts and stuff. Sure. But we, we've 
taught a few kids were kind of uh, concerned with the size of their hands and their strength. Right. And sometimes kids find this a little boring because it does take a little time. It's not something they can do real fast. Sure. But uh, we, we will do them one-on-one -on -one a lot of times because we want to watch them and teach them the safety of carving. I think that uh, one of the merit badges is wood carving, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. And we, yeah. We've done uh, Harrisonville down. Harrisonville's got a program where we go to, it's a fantasy day or something like that. And we've gone down and uh, about seventh grade on up. You know, they're, they're getting to be about 12, 13 years old. Their hands get big enough to hold mm -hmm. a piece of wood sure. and the knife. I mean, you know, right. so they've got to be able to do that. Uh, anything, anybody that's younger than that, we encourage them to carve, but maybe use some soap or something because it's, it's softer. And, you know, if they wanted to learn how to carve and they were younger than that, use a bar of soap or something like that. And, right. and it, it's pretty easy to, and, and again, they have to be, they have to be realized that their projects are going to be smaller in nature than. Sure. Well, it seems like it's a, a great hobby uh, to do and uh, probably therapeutical as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, we, we have quite a few people when they get ready to retire, they come in and see us and want to learn how to wood carve. Sure. Uh, men and women both. So, right. I, you know, it, I would have to say that the average person that wood carves is, is retirement age. So, Very good. Yeah, they're looking for something to do. That's awesome. The wives are looking for the men for something to do to get them out of the house. And, uh, <laughs> I know that guy. <laughs> well, we, we do have a, a tagline on our radio show and our road show. It's kind of like, like a Jed Clampett, woo doggies. Can you give me a woo doggies? Uh, a woo <laughs> dog doggies. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Hey guys, you've been listening to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. Uh, come on over and check out the Knot Hole Wood Carving down here in beautiful Pleasant Hill. Make it a day trip and a road trip, and you'll be glad you did. Uh, you've been listening to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show, and we'll be right back. Uh -huh.